This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Roll for initiative, suckers! Yo guys, what is up? Max on Borderlands video, and today we've got some exciting news. Today, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, the DLC that was well, my personal favorite from Borderlands 2, is relaunching as a standalone experience. Now, you may have a lot of questions. I know I did. I'm going to break down everything you guys need to know. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And that, guys, let's get right into it. So for those of you that did not know, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep is a Borderlands 2 DLC that launched in 2013. It is a fan favorite DLC, my personal favorite DLC that I've ever played in Borderlands. And it is the inspiration for Wonderlands, which launches in 2022. Now, they are relaunching Assault on Dragon Keep as a standalone experience, meaning you do not need to own any other game or uh, any other purchases. You do not need to own Borderlands 2. You do not need to own Borderlands 3. And you can go and experience this DLC to kind of find out where it all started for Wonderlands and kind of get some backstory or a little taste of Wonderlands before it launches. This is kind of acting a little bit like the Commander Lilith uh, fight for Sanctuary for Borderlands 2, transitioning to Borderlands 3, they're giving us a taste of Wonderlands. Now, the way that this is going to work is it is available now. You can go buy this one-shot adventure, is what they're calling it, a one-shot adventure, for $10 on any platform. It is going to cost $9.99 on Xbox, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, $9.99. Owning Borderlands 2 and owning this DLC will not give you this standalone experience for free. Um, however, if you're on PC, it is free on the Epic Game Store until November 16th, where it is going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive until 2022, and then it'll launch on other platforms. Now, for those of us that have played through Assault on Dragon Keep and kind of know this DLC, I actually got to sit down and talk with the Gearbox devs, and I was curious to what they've added or what the incentive is or players that have already played this DLC to go purchase this and go experience this again and not just like play through Borderlands 2's expansion that I already own because I was curious about that and I'm sure y'all are too. So basically the way that this is going to work, this one-shot experience is all the characters are available to play. You can play any of the Vault Hunters from Borderlands 2. No Borderlands 3 Vault Hunters um, and they're adding new cosmetics and new gear. So there's these new rainbow chests that are added. I'm assuming they're going to be dropping some of the new gear, but new legendary gear to go after. Now, because this is a standalone, the leveling experience and difficulty and endgame is all specific to this game, meaning that like the level cap for this game is not going to be level 80 like it is in Borderlands 2 currently. And there's going to be different experience scaling and different difficulty scaling in this, which I'm very curious to check out and see how that works. Another very cool thing is that the entire Borderlands 2 legendary loot pool is going to be available in this game. So in Assault on Dragon Keep, there's gear that is specific to this thing, like the magic missile or the sword explosion, and you're going to be able to get all of those classic things, plus the new gear that is being added into this expansion. But in addition to that, there is also going to be the availability or the possibility to get world drops. So like you could get a world drop like conference call or a world drop hornet uh, just running around in this because all of the legendary loot from Borderlands 2 will be available. I'm super curious to how this is going to play out. Obviously, if you have played through this before, the biggest thing that you're going to try to, I guess, experience is the new cosmetics and the new gear and maybe a chance to re-experience this before Wonderlands comes out. I'm going to be playing through this live on stream, given my opinions on it. I do think that this is a missed opportunity to put this DLC into Borderlands 3 and kind of just bring it into Borderlands 3 and do this with our current characters, our Amaras, our Zanes, our Flax, our Moses. I think that would have been amazing. Adding the dragons, the sword explosion, uh, the chain lightning, all these pieces of gear into Borderlands 3, I think would have been, in my op opinion, like a better way of doing this, at least a, a little bit more exciting for me personally. But it is cool that if Borderlands 3 is your first game and you haven't experienced this DLC before, that you can now go out and play it without requiring 
owning all these other things and get to experience a little bit of wonderlands before wonderlands actually comes out start building up the hype guys that is it for this video um i'm curious what you guys think about this leave me let me know down in the comments once again i will be playing this live on stream and checking out everything that they've added i hope you guys take have a good one take care peace I was